Hey designer, Alex here. Welcome to this course about Inception Design System for Adobe XD. If you want to check out the full playlist with all the videos, make sure to click here or to click down in the description below. Link is going to be there. So enjoy this lesson. In this video, we are going to talk about colors in Inception Design System, how easy it is to change them and how can you work with colors in Inception Design System. So here we are in master file of Inception Design System in Adobe XD and basically colors are located right here which I mentioned in one of the previous videos. So we have main colors and we have supporting colors and once again I'm going to mention what I already said previously. These are just the base colors, you can add different shades, you can add different colors on top of these colors quite simply and add these or completely replace them, remove them, do with them, whatever you want. This is just a starting point, same like the topography that we talked about in the previous video. So all the colors which are listed right here are listed in this artboard right here. So you have main colors and you have supporting colors and the same story goes for typography, same story goes for colors and every single element right here. If you want to change this color, you're not going to do it from here. You can see the name is ocean. You can find it here. So ocean and you can see the hex code located right here. I didn't want to do RGB, I didn't want to do anything else other than the hex code, but that's the point uh, of the design system as well. You can do whatever you want with it. So if you're working with RGB colors, you can do that. If you're working with hex codes, you can do that. So I didn't want to limit you in any kind of way. And also I didn't want to waste your time because majority of designers are using hex codes in their design, especially UI UX design. So that's what I put inside of here. But if you're working with RGB, for example, then you can simply adjust these colors and add RGB values just below right here. Make sure to pay attention when you are changing these. If you want to keep this name, you can keep it. But if you change and update this, make sure to update the hex code here and here as well. When you are updating, it's going to update this swatch right here, but of course it's going to update every single component and element that we have on the page. When you're doing your update, make sure to always update from here. So right click, you can copy this color if you want to, or you can add it, and then you can edit this color however you want. You can lower down the opacity, which is great thing for swatches, which I just mentioned. And of course, you're going to get this hex value, or you can click right here to get the RGB or HSB values. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm just going to show you how this works. So once again, make sure to uh, make your changes from here. What I would recommend, especially for people with slower machines is make sure to make your changes here inside of the design. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but it's actually quite simple because what you're going to do then is when you find the value and the color that you want, you can simply copy the hex code, come right here to the left hand side, right click, edit, and then paste the hex code in rather than using this color swatch up and down. So how that works is, and of course, if your client has colors pre-prepared, if they already have determined colors, it's quite obvious you're just going to copy and paste these hex codes right here in these ones. And of course you can change these names. And to do that, you can simply right click and rename. You can rename this however you want to match your client's colors. Or if you simply want to use some custom colors or custom names that you come up with. So if I, for example, come in right here and use these, so we have main buttons right here, and we are going to talk about uh, atoms and molecules in a separate video, but I just wanted to uh, quickly show you this. So if I select this main button large, and if I select the background, what I'm going to do is simply change the color. And as you're going to notice, it's just going to change it here, not anywhere else inside of our design. So let's use something really crazy. So let's go with, let's say purple or pink or something like that. And when I'm done, I'm going to simply select this color, hit Control or Command C. Let me hide myself just so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to copy this uh, hex code like so. And then I'm going to come right here to the ocean, right click on it, go to edit. And then right here where it's my hex code, I'm going to hit Control V to paste it, press enter on my keyboard and wait for it to update. And you can see the updates happening right here in real time because it's located throughout my design and it has many different places where this color is located at. 
So once the update has been made and uh, I just want to mention this quickly once again, if you have a slower machine, make sure to give it a bit of time because once again, it has many, many, many hundreds of these components to make the change. But once it's been changed, you can see it right here. You can see it right here and in every single component where that color is used. So you can see it here, you can see it here. You can even see it right here in the logo. And if I unzoom a little bit, you can see it right here inside of the templates and inside of our uh, flow charts right here. So every single place where that color has been used, it's changed automatically, which is a huge time saver because with just one single click, you can update this color and you can change it throughout your entire design system. And that's a huge time saver, especially when uh, most people are working in the same team. So let's say that you have two or three designers, one designer can make a change for the color, then you can all share this as a team with your clients. And if your, your clients approve of that color, then you can simply um, continue where you left off and simply continue working on that particular project. But what we have to do now, because we updated and we made that change throughout our design system is we need to change the name. So give it a different name. So for example, let's say right click rename. What I want to do right here is to call it, for example, pink or purple for this particular demonstration. And what I also want to do is right click copy. So DE five CF six is our new hex color rename and then come right here, hit control V to paste it. And what I also want to do is come right here in our main colors. So this is not going to be ocean anymore, but purple like this and double click right here to change the hex code as well. So this is just one key thing to uh, remember to do because we no longer have ocean color. We now have this purple color and we have completely different hex code. So that's what I did right here. So that's how easy it is to change colors, to update colors, to update styles. You can do exactly the same thing uh, with new colors. So let's say I want to go right here to this same button that we did. And let's say I want to change this to something completely different let's say a really nice dark green, something like that. And if I want to add a new color, what I want to do is choose if it is a main color or if it is a supporting color. So if in this case, this is a main color, let's say I just want to click right here. It's going to add it right here. Then you can hit edit and rename. And let's call this, for example, Navy like that. And I'm going to click and drag this swatch right here. So somewhere around here. And now in this case, because we have this navy color, what I would do in this case is come right here, select this one, for example, this white one, hit control D. And because it's located in a stack, it's simply going to push this down. I'm going to double click right here, call it navy like this, and then come right here, hit copy this hex code, double click right here paste in this hex code, select my color, apply this navy swatch, and there you go. And once again, because as I mentioned, uh, this is uh, located in the stack. For example, if you want this white color to be stack, if you want this to be up a little bit, you can simply move it right here, somewhere around here, for example, as you can see, it jumped places. And I can now call it color number seven below that is going to be color number eight. So you can see how easy it is to add new color swatches if you want to add shades of this color. So let's say I want to click right here, select this color, then I can click right here. And for example, add a shade, maybe I want it to be, let's say, I don't know, 70% maybe or let's say 80% shade, then I can jump right here, click right here, and then it's really all up to you how you want to edit it. So uh, what I did is I need to remove this one, delete, because it added this background as well. So I want to edit this. And what I can do is simply rename. So you can see it's exactly the same hex code as this one, but let's say Navy 80 or uh, 800 or 500 or 200, no matter what your naming convention is, you can do it there. What you can also do is create a completely different folder for these shades. So let's say I want to uh, call my folder Navy, then inside of the Navy, I'm going to have this one, which is at 100, then this one, which is at 80%, then 60%, then 40%, whatever you want to do, you can put them inside of the separate folder. You can also reorganize these things right here. So you can have them, let's say on this uh, main colors, then for example, separate titles would be Navy, separate title would be Royal, separate title 
rectangle would be purple. So you can put all of your shades right there and all of these shades are going to be either inside of the main colors folder or inside of supporting colors or you can even create your own folder and do it like that. So what you can do is right click, you can move to any one of these folders or you can simply hit control or command G. It's going to put it in a separate folder and then you can rename that folder and you can uh, call it however you want. You can let's say call it shades of navy or whatever you want and that's the whole point here. Once again, I can't stress this enough this organizing structure is just mine but once you actually take this design system you can put it into different atmosphere you can do with it whatever you want you can organize it however you want and you can make changes however you want to this design system in the next video we are going to talk about atoms and molecules why they are so crucial and important for any design system including inception so i'll see you there Thank you for watching this video. If you want to check out the previous one from this playlist, make sure to click right here. Or to check out the next one from this playlist, make sure to click right here. If you want to see full playlist for all videos from this course, make sure to check down in the description below. Link for the full playlist is going to be down there in case you missed something.